اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to look into how to report descriptive statistics from SPSS and how to format the tables in APA style. Now let's say I want the descriptives for gender. Now gender is a categorical variable so we are going to go to descriptive statistics and frequencies. Let's add in gender and let's do age as well. Now click statistics. Well, if you want anything here, maybe mean, median, mode, depending on the variable. Obviously, we do not do mean and median for gender. But for age, you can have median, mode. And since it's ordinal, so maybe mean could help as well. So select your options from here. You can go to format and format your options. Now, if you want charts, you can have bar charts as well. Let's have bar charts and you can create your tables in APA style in SPSS 29 version. I suppose I may not be the earlier ones that support this feature, but I'm going to format them in APA anyway. Now here are your results for gender and age. So I'm going to copy this table of gender, copy or right click, copy. And I've got a sample here. So I'm just going to paste this table here for now. And I'm going to tell you later what I'm going to do with this. So right click here. Auto fit. Auto fit to window. Now how do we write the results? So a frequency table was generated to describe the distribution of gender in the sample. As shown in the table 1. Majority of the respondents or participants were female. Is that the case? No. So we need to change it were male. What is the N here? The N is 288 for male and the percentage is 84.7%. While how many participants were female? 52 participants and what's the percentage? 15.3% were female. Now, the results for gender-wise distribution of the respondents are presented in table 1. Here is your table 1. So, how do you format it? First of all, go to table design. Click here. Remove this title here. And now, bring it up. Now, what we need to do is, in APA style, we do not have borders. So, let's click here. No border. Not all the borders are there. Obviously, there are borders. So, now click here. Go to bottom border, then get your top border, and then get a bottom border for the first row here, bottom border. Now put these other rows here, the second, third, other columns in center them. Click here, let's change the font, because this font is also Times New Roman. And you can add a note if there is one, just the note in italics full stop and then any note that you require to explain let's say n sample size so this is how you can report a categorical variable from spss in apa style just make sure your table number is in bold the description in italics and moving on i've got another example here for age so let's have age copy paste now this document will be available on my website so the link to download will be shared in the description as well so let's go for all borders click here go to table design because this removes all the background, so I'm just clicking on this one. If you go down, this is the first one, plain tables. Go to home and do no border, bottom border, top border, bottom border for the first row. And move this table up a bit. Up a bit. 
Now select these two columns, center them and click here, select the font. You can have like if the table is big, you can reduce the font size as well. Let's do 10. So this is allowed as well. But in this case, it's not a big table. So we are going to keep 12. Again, you can have note here. The age variable was recorded into four categories, not five, to create the age group variable. Now, descriptive statistics were calculated to summarize the distribution of age group in the sample. As shown in table one, not table one, but table two, the largest age group was 20 to 29 years, and their N was 127. The percentage was 37.4%. 37.4% followed by what was the next one okay the largest was not 127 rather it was 30 to 39 so make sure that you do not make such mistakes 144 and 42.4% 42.4% followed by 20 to 29 N was 127 and percentage was 37.4%. Similarly, you can add the other age group. The next is 40 to 49 and the smallest age group was 50 to 59. So this is how you can report your categorical variable that has got more than two categories. Now let's say I've got another variable, age, the same age. Now how do I write the descriptive statistics for a continuous variable like age so i haven't categorized age and it's just plain simple numbers that is the age of the respondents so in order to do so what i what i will do is first let me get the age analyze descriptive statistics put in age here now let's press ok and here is my table let me copy it and let me paste it here. So let's first format the table. Right click, auto fit window. Get all borders. Now delete this first row. Shift, press end. Now press backspace. Now I do not need this here. So select it, backspace. Click here, go to table design, plain layout. Go home no borders bottom border top border and bottom border for the first row now put all the other columns centered and delete here so that the table moves up now again let's change the font size times new roman and 12 is fine Okay, now this appears that this, let me look at this, the color. So select all, go to font color and select back. Now, how do I write it? Any continuous variable, descriptive statistics were calculated to summarize the distribution of age in the sample. The mean age was, so what was the mean age? 33.61, 33.61. The standard deviation was 8.822. The age range was 20 to 59, including now indicating a relatively young sample. So this is fine. The median age. Now, if you want to report the other descriptives like median and more, you can do it like this. For this, let's say it is not required. So this is how, okay, now descriptive statistics for age are presented in table 3 now this is absolutely necessary to put in a reference to the table in the text so this is how you can report descriptive statistics using SPSS this document will be shared on my website and the link will be shared in the description now one more thing if you've got like this the charts so you can copy them if it's not copying, just simply right click and copy. 
and let me put it here after this here and we can give a reference to the figure let's say figure one age distribution of the respondents now in order to do this in APA let's cut it and we put it at the top here Figure one enter that's italics figure one in bold and they should be on the same page so I'm just going to reduce the size of this chart here put it in center so this is how you can report your results for descriptive statistics from SPSS in APA style. Thank you very much.